Hey guys, Lepter here, and welcome back to Terraria on a Calamity Mod. Where we last left off, we fought some bosses, tried gearing up for Moon Lord, so today's episode, we're gonna be using the gear we got to fight Moon Lord himself. But before we can fight him, we need to fight the other bosses, just get him checked off our little less here, and then finish it off with Moon Lord. So, with the intro out of the way, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, we got a list of bosses we need to fight. I think we're gonna go in order here, and then we definitely need to do Moon Lord this episode. I feel like we can. I definitely feel like we can definitely fight Moon Lord this episode. But, like I said, we do need to summon the Ice Queen, so let's sleep through the day here, make it nighttime, summon her, and then do all the other bosses. Alright, let's summon the Frost Moon. Hopefully this goes much better than last time we tried this. We should have a bit more of an advantage here since we had the, uh, Solar Eruption. Oh yeah, we're doing a lot better than the first time we tried this. Like, we're doing a lot of damage, healing up every once in a while, obviously. But, like, we're doing a lot better than, uh, than we first tried this. Thankfully, this is the only event we actually had to, like, wait for it to be nighttime or a specific requirement for, besides just a natural summoning. Although, I do know that the old one's army is going to be a little bit of a pain, because we have to, like, summon him, go through all the ways, and then fight the, uh, Betsy and whatnot. But it shouldn't be too bad for that one, to be honest. Especially if we use the Solar Eruption, like we've been doing right here. Ah, there she is, the Ice Queen! You know, I'm not gonna lie, saying the Ice Queen just now reminds me of Adventure Time, and now I want to watch Adventure Time again, because it has been forever since I last seen it. And by forever, I mean like two months ago. You know, now I'm mainly just waiting for it to be daytime, I'm not gonna lie, because like, this is just way too easy right now. I mean, as it should be, but I'm just saying. Alright, I'm pretty much just gonna wait out the last like minute or two I have left of this night, so that way I can just move on to the next bosses and whatnot. Alright, finally daytime. I can continue on with the other bosses after I deposit some items first, though. Alright, we need to do Duke Fishron. I think I have some Truffle Worms. I do. Actually, can I make something with them? I can only make a cage. Okay, I thought there was a summon. It might have been a, uh, might have been a mod I had before. Uh, Fishing Pool. I don't have one of those. Let me see if I can make one in here. I can. Perfect. I'm just gonna make a normal one here. I don't need anything too special. And then I should probably make some more regeneration and strength pots. I don't I don't think I really need any other pots than that because I'll mainly save the other ones for something more like more dangerous, you know, like Moon Lord. You know, I probably should have checked if it works in the Ascetic Sea, but we're going to find out. I hope it does because I don't want to, I don't want to sit here. Okay, it does. I was about to say, I don't want to sit here looking like an idiot. So far, so good. Can't really complain at least. All right, I'm mainly going to use my Vampire Knights because he has been hurting me a lot here. And I really don't like it when he hits me. Ah, oh, he killed me. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to the other ocean, because I think that's where I'm a little more geared up and whatnot. Okay, it's not as much as I thought it was gonna be, but you know what? It'll work. We at least have some campfires and whatnot, which is pretty much the main thing we need anyway. So, I don't know how well we're gonna do at this stage. Oh god, I hate this stage the most personally. Whoo, okay. Yeah, this is not gonna go so well. I can already tell. Out. Well, maybe. As long as we keep our, uh, guard up here. Okay, definitely don't run into the, uh... The hurricane there. All right, come on. We can definitely do this. We can definitely do this. Come on, come, come on. We just need a few more hits, and we just need a few more hits. I mean, we're a few hits from death ourselves, but whoo, okay, that could have been bad. Uh, okay, come on, come, come on. He's at 5,000, 5,000. Come on, come, come on. Definitely got this. We definitely got this. Come on. And yes. Woo. All right. Uh, let's teleport back home. We finished that boss on our checklist. Don't think he drops anything good for us. Ooh. Flareon actually might be good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll see how well it goes. Everything else, eh, I don't really care. Actually, this might be pretty good, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna deposit everything else here real quick. All right, who's our next boss? Plaguebringer Goliath. How do we summon you? We need the Abomination. Oh, we can make that. A bomb. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're into potions. Abomination. There we go. Craft you and radio capable of emitting a frequency and can only be used in a jungle all right well let's get to it then i guess let's see how well the flare on this usually people really love this weapon i never really use it by the time i do i'm already at like weapons i want to use more so but it seems pretty good it has a good auto lock on mechanic which actually might be more useful when we're doing our fights rather than using the uh the daybreak here so let's see oh yeah this lock on is really good so far we're doing pretty good not bad not bad 
We're about to get some adrenaline, maybe. Aw, I knew as soon as I say he's gonna do some move that will stop us from having adrenaline. Ooh, we're low. Hang on. Let me get some health here real quick. Probably should have done this in our jungle arena, not gonna lie, but... Oh, well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to make my way to our arena if I can. All right, we just need to go down this tree... And then keep on going down, keep on going down. Because we're at least going to have some, like, heals and whatnot down here. Which should help out a lot when it comes to uh, this fight. Especially since we have our other bonuses. Like, our health regen should be off the charts. Well, maybe not off the charts, off the charts, but really good. Definitely need to reforge the flare on, though. So that way it's a lot better. But I think we definitely got this, though. I gotta say, this is a really unique boss. I have to say, this boss is really unique. It's kind of like an upgrade to that Queen Bee mechanical boss thing that we uh, fought a few times. But this feels like more so a legit version of it. Uh, what do you mean a nuke barrage? What do you mean a nuke barrage? Huh? What? Huh? I don't like that. Oh my god, he has upgraded some of his weaponry here. Sir, you're not allowed to do that. All right, he's about 58,000. We just got a little more of this fight to go, and we should be good to go. All right, he's almost dead. We gotta be careful, though, because he could do some, like, cheesy stuff at the end. You know, summon a nuke or just turn into 20 different mini versions of him or something i don't know some of these calamity mob bosses just do the weirdest stuff not gonna lie okay we are in a world of hurt i'm gonna heal i got i had to i had to there's just nothing i could do there oh god he is hurting us so badly oh we are being hurt so badly i don't like this oh god he's so close to death oh my god i was so close to death all right. Oh, man, we dropped the platinum. That's not good. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We want to... Let's make some potions. We definitely need some potions for this one. All right. Let's try this again. We can definitely do it now that I have all these potions. And who's next on the chopping block after you? We have Empress of Light. Ooh, that's going to be difficult. We have Betsy, Ravager. I'm not going to do Empress of Light in the daytime. I have no need to, and I don't plan to. Uh... That's all I have to say about that part. And then we have Moon Lord afterwards. I do think it would be smart to go back down here, though. And then let's summon him. Let me set my spawn here first, just in case. And then let's summon him now. All right, so far, so good. Just like last time. Uh, hopefully, we can defeat him this time because I don't want to... I don't want to use so many potions and whatnot, you know? All right, he's in this next stage. Definitely got to be careful around this one. Shouldn't be too bad, though, since I know his moves for the most part. Pretty simple once you get to hang of it i say as i get a head ran like that the stage shouldn't be too bad now that we know mostly what his moves are we are almost out of our potions though or like some of them okay i'm not gonna lie he's kind of juggling me a little bit here and there uh kind of almost died once but you know what we're coming back our comeback game i say as i keep on taking more damage here all right he is pretty low i gotta take care of all his bots though Ooh, that could have been mad all right he's almost there he's less than thirty thousand. i gotta kill all these drones and then i gotta focus on him i need my potion back i need to get my ability to heal myself back here soon because i am not gonna make it too much longer if i do okay uh, if I don't get it back. Okay, we almost got... Okay, there we go. I was about to say, we almost got adrenaline. And that would definitely help out a lot here. Okay, he's at 3,000. Come on, come on, come on. We just need to target him. We just need to target him. That's all we need to do. Uh, hang on. I got to heal. I got to heal. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. <gasps> yes! Woo! Okay, that could have been bad. Woo, okay. Uh, who do we have next? Who do we have next? We have Empress of Light, Betsy, and Ravager. Uh, I'm gonna go with Betsy, Ravager, and then I'll do the Empress of Light. Just because it's gonna take a little while to get her. Alright, uh, let's open up our goodie bag here. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff here. And a dev set, I think. Yeah. Cool. Let's, uh, get rid of some of this stuff, though, because I don't need it at all. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. Yeah, I don't really need all of this. Ooh. You do anything? Oh, that's pretty cool. I might keep that. I might keep that. I'll at least put it in my, uh... Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're a yo-yo. Cool. Can we do anything useful with you? Not really. You can make this blade, though. Don't know if I'm actually gonna continue on with the, uh... The oak blade stuff. That was really good for the beginning part, but I haven't really used it too much as of late. I did just realize we have two flare on, so let's go and reforge one of them at least. And then so the other one. Or do something else with the other one. I don't know. Ah, golly. I don't know if that's the best, but I'm going to assume it's the best. And then we do have some Eternia crystals, so let's go and summon the old one's army. Thankfully, all I really need to worry about is Betsy herself. 
I don't really need to worry about these guys down here. All right, thankfully, I just need to worry about Betsy. I don't really need to worry about these guys when she uh, appears. Probably should have gotten myself a new Ballista turret or something like that, but... Oh, well. Yeah, definitely should have gotten myself a... What do you say? A turret or something. Well, there's Betsy. Definitely gotta take care of her now. I hope the crystal doesn't get destroyed before we kill her, because that would be really awkward, not gonna lie. Okay, she's at 50,000. We definitely got this. Come on, come, come on. Ah, I think she's gonna despawn now since they proved victorious. Man, we were so close, too. All right, yeah. Definitely gonna buy some Ballista turrets, like the best upgrade I can, and then we're gonna try this again. I think it's like 50 for the best one. What are you, Creeper Egg? Summons a Pit Flickerwick to provide light. Huh, I don't know. Oh! It's that thing, okay. I was about to say, I don't see anything new here, but that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have that as a pet. It's pretty cute, not gonna lie. Oh, we need 60 for the best one? We need 60? That's stupid. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to defeat Betsy this wave and keep the, uh, keep the crystal alive, because it is about halfway there. So I'm just gonna skip it. We definitely have enough now to buy the, uh, what do you say? Buy the new Ballista turret? Yeah. Definitely wouldn't have made it. Not unless we get that Ballista turret, which we will, thankfully. So let me go over there now. So let's see. One Ballista staff. Thank you very much. And I'm going to sell, I guess, some of this stuff. Why not? I don't really need a lot of this, you know? All right. I have three turrets over here. I think I'm going to go six turrets and then I'll swap, do the other side, six turrets, and then just kind of go back and forth like that. All right. Change my mind. I'm going to have it where like wave five is when I start putting some more Ballistas on this side. But up till then, I'm just going to put a lot of ballistas over here because I'm getting tired of all these uh, all these little guys passing through here. All right, one more wave and Betsy will be attacking us here soon. I definitely do feel a lot more confident this time when she summons because we have a lot more uh, ballista turrets here. But that does not mean we are completely safe. I have as much turrets as I can place down. I hope we have at least enough time to defeat her. So far, so good. You know, damage output wise goes pretty standard overall all right she's at 50,000 not bad not bad no come on she's at 20,000 she's at 20,000 please 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 oh my god oh all that work all that work for naught all right you know what we're gonna fight moon lord i want to try to feel a little confident about something you know because i'm not gonna lie not being able to defeat betsy kind of shot down my confidence level because of the fact just you know she should be really easy, you know? But this is going by a lot smoother now that we have the flare on over here. All right, one of his hands is almost gone. There we go. Now we just got his other hand and the middle eye. I uh, gotta be careful with the laser here. Come on, fly, 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 fly. There we go. All right, his other hand is almost gone. And there we go. There we go. Okay, I was a bit too early with that one. Now we just got his forehead eye and then should be just as hard afterwards. Uh-oh, this isn't where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. Uh, this is bad, 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 bad. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I did not want to try doing the uh, whole eyeball thing while I'm underneath a uh, conveyor belt. All right, his eyeball is almost gone, which is really good. We're making a lot more progress than we did the first time we did this. Oh, God, dodge that. Come on, come, come on. Woo, that could have been bad. Uh, we're kind of taking a lot of damage here. Okay, now it's just a center heart here. Oh, he still does his laser beam. Okay. Uh, gotta be very careful about that then. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up again. Uh, I'm magic mirroring. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Okay. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Dodge that. And he's gonna do his laser beam. Yep, okay. We're actually getting some health back, surprisingly. Not sure how we're doing this, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Come on, come on. Adrenaline? Yes! Okay, I am definitely focusing everything on that heart now. Oh, I needed that. Oh, I needed that. Okay, gotta dodge all that stuff. We will have to fight him again, so that way we can get some more uh, Luminite bars, but I'm feeling pretty confident right now, I'm not gonna lie. His heart's almost gone. Okay, his heart has about 50,000 more, 50,000 more. All right, come on, come, come on. Oh, we're kind of low, we're kind of low, but he's also low. Come on, we got this. We gotta keep calm, keep calm. All right, we gotta keep calm, keep calm. He's almost low, he's almost dead. Or at least his heart's almost dead. I don't know, there's like a second stage. He has like 20,000 more health down there, it says. Come on, come on. Yes! Woo! Oh my god. We did it. Okay, we definitely need to redo that though, because we need to get some more Luminite. Because usually he only drops enough just for a teensy bit. Just for a teensy bit. Oh my god. Okay, 
Uh, I'm gonna... Ooh, we got a lot of stuff I need to sell now. Let's see. Sell you, sell you. Actually, oh, you provide a large amount of light. Let me keep you then. Sell you, you. I don't think... Converts certain debuffs into buffs and extends their duration. Uh, I guess I might keep that. That might be useful later. Oh, oh, no. No, you can't tell me that there's a thing to increase my accessory slots, but it does nothing in master mode. That is the mode we're on. That is stupid. A fine, whatever. All right, let's make some armor then. Some nice good old solar. So let's craft one of you. Actually, will we have enough? No, no, definitely not, definitely not, okay. But I will equip this to get some more defense and some more uh, damage to him. So let's resummon him then. You know, I probably should have made some more potions, but you know what? We ball, we ball. Okay, we were not balling there. We were not balling there. All right, let's buff up once more and see how well we go against him. Actually, that seems to be doing something to his hand. Ah, oh, I kind of ate that laser. All right, one of his hands is down. Laser beam now. And then we just take care of the other hand. All right, his other hand is down in a second. Hang on. There you go, now his hand is down. Now we just take care of the giant eyeball. All right, his forehead is almost gone. And it should be his heart soon after. All right, now it's just his lovely heart of his. And we got some adrenaline to help speed it up, which is really good. Definitely gotta say, it's a lot more difficult in a Calamity mod with the uh, whole fact that he keeps his eyeballs and whatnot. Oh my God. I couldn't go anywhere. He kept on cornering me with every single, like, radio shot he had. You know, I think they're a little glitched out up there. I'm just realizing that. Not sure what was happening over there, but, uh, that definitely wasn't supposed to happen. All right, Blood Moon time. Let's go. All right, Blood Moon is over. You know what that means. It's time to fight the Moon Lord once again, once we make some potions. So let's buff up and fight. All right, one of his hands is almost gone, but I had to swap to the other side here. Hopefully I can get a adrenaline. Ah, I was just about to get it. All right, let me get this hand though, because that'll be pretty easy to take care of. There you go. Okay, we got adrenaline. Gonna try to rush his head a little bit here. Because that'll be the main bad one, in my opinion. I mean, I know he's still gonna do the same attacks regardless with or without his uh head being destroyed but still just get it out of the way so we don't have to wait for that little cooldown of his where he like closes it and then reopens and then closes reopens oh hey we got his other hand down now too cool all right should be going towards his heart here soon we got some bubbles chilling up there all right now we just got his heart oh crap 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 crap, crap. no 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 Whoo! that could have been mad all right i'm gonna focus mainly on the daybreak here because that would be really useful against the heart oh yeah look at that damage Look at that damage numbers. Woo! I'm going to focus on mainly using the flare on because I want to keep my distance for the most part. At least try to. All right. His heart is almost dead. We have another pot that we can use. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I was not going to be able to dodge that one. Crap. I'm going to... Mm okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Woo! Could have been a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Okay. He's got his laser. He's almost dead. I know that much. Okay. There we go. Woo! Oh my lord, that could have been... That could have been really bad. But let's go. I am a king. All right, I'm gonna see what we can make with Luminite. Now that we have another bag, or we should have... Uh, did I not pick one up? My inventory might have been too full for me to, uh, pick it up. So let me go back to where he died then. Yeah, it's all the way over here now, so... That's a little whoopsie-daisy on my part. But let's sell some stuff now that we have some, uh... Well, I guess extra loot. Ooh, we got the Meow Mirror. What can we make with the ore here? Uh, just the bars. We can also make the Void Monolith. All right, let's throw some of my Luminite in here. Make some more bars. Gotta make sure I'm actually in the bar section or everything section so I can make these bars and not the, uh, what do you say? Not the potion section. And let's make the last little bit of solar armor. And then what can I make with some Luminite, uh, bars? Let me, let me see what I can make. We can make this pickaxe, the Genesis pickaxe that can mine, uh, how do you pronounce that? Ule bloom, uli bloom, uli bloom or ooh, we can make a cosmic worm. That sounds pretty cool, and a cosmic anvil. Huh. Okay, so we can upgrade our Ark of the Ancients. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna need a Galactica Singularity here. Actually, I'm gonna need five of these, which I just created. I need five life alloy. So life alloy. Let's make five of these. And then we just make the Arc of the Elements. Ooh, look at that damage. 
Look at that damage. We need to reforge it, but look at that. Oh, we can definitely take on Betsy now. All right, we got Godly. I think that might be the best. I'm not going to risk it because I want to just get this done and over with with Betsy and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Just look at that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah. Just look at this damage. Look at that. Woo! And I haven't even parried yet. Man, we are just shredding through everybody here. So we have this sword over here. What does it do? Absolutely. Oh, I was about to say absolutely nothing, but it does something. Not something I'd really use, but I'll take it, I guess. It might be used to upgrade to a better weapon. All right, there she is. Oh, yeah, she's almost dead. We definitely got this before they uh, finish up the little crystal down there. And hang on. There we go. Whew, that took way too long, personally. Who do we have left now? We have... Empress of Light, Ravager, and then everybody post Moon Lord. There's a boss rush. How do we summon that? Uh, Terminus. Okay, let's see if we can do anything with this. Answer is no. All right, time to sell it. Well, let's summon Ravager then. So far, we're doing a lot better than the first time we did this, but I do need to heal up now. Then again, this is a bit overkill now that we're in post Moon Lord gear. But oh well. All right, his head is almost gone. There we go. Now we just got his body. Oh, God damn it. He... Okay, he dropped me out of the air and it killed me. That was not fair. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try that again. Okay, his head is almost dead again. I think... Nope, I was about to say. I think I got it. Now I definitely got it, though. Okay, gotta be careful just in case. There we go. Yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, I can't... Okay, I can't fly anymore. That's not good. Gotta be very careful here so that way he doesn't kill me. I thought it was just like a small little phase thing, like if we got frozen and whatnot. But no, it's this whole entire duration right here. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. But he's dead, so... Woo! All right, now we just got the Empress of Light. Oh, we got a fleshy geode. What do we get? Ooh, some ores. I'm gonna deposit all that. And Core of Ilium. Huh, cool. Ooh, permanently increases rage mode? Yes, please. All right, now I gotta wait to go and get the Empress of Light summon. I don't think the Zerg potion will help. Actually, now I think about it, so I'm probably not gonna use it. All right, well, it may not be 7.30 itself. By the time we make it to a hollow biome that can actually support a... Uh, support some of the butterflies it should be 7 30 by then probably should have made a pocket watch but eh whatever all right any butterflies around here i just realized we weren't even wearing our uh we weren't wearing our proper thing what are you what are you hang on i'm gonna wear this just in case there's something that will summon something else okay you're not good unholy essence huh i do need this i think at least i think i need this yeah i can make the uh seeking scorcher that's like the tomahawk but upgraded that would be really cool. I need the butterfly. Well, I accidentally drank the Zerg potion, so I might find a lace wing. I might not. Holy shit, what are you? Oh, I see a lace wing. I see a lace wing. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, I summoned her by accident. That was, uh, that was not good. Oh, God, he's back for round two. Where are you? Profane energy. Oh, we got a lace wing. Uh, grab, 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 grab. There we go. I'm gonna see if we can fight her with the amount of time we have right here. I should probably not be down here. All right, so far, so good. Not gonna lie. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard fight. Honestly, so far... Oh, okay, there we go. I was about to say, so far, it's going pretty good. Like, she hasn't really done any of her, like, fancy attacks, but that time she did. Honestly, I think I can take her in the daytime. It might take a couple tries, but still. I finally got attacked just a little bit there. Definitely, though, I think if we do this a few times, maybe have it raining and use the, uh, truffle... I think we definitely would have a better chance. And obviously, probably potion up as well. Because we are not using all of our potions here. Although that attack right there might have been the death of me if I was in daytime. Alright, she's almost dead. Although I'm almost dead, but I'm kind of just not really trying, trying, you know? And there we go. Honestly, that was like the easiest Empress Light I've ever been a part of. But yeah, I think I'm going to call an episode here soon. Just wanted to see what I got here. We got some of the prismatic dye and whatnot. I wish we got the sword. We should probably look into getting the sword because I think we can upgrade that as well. But yeah, so if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without the way, this has been Luther20 signing off. Bye-bye.